I know because I listened mm-hmm. that you told Joe and Serena that the mm-hmm. door was still open for you and Aven. Just wanted to hear you say his name. Yeah. Uh, uh, is it? Uh, is it? You, Let's stop Aven. there. Is Aven. it? Right. Well, those okay, of you who don't so know, I, she met him on Paradise. Go ahead. Okay. Yes. Is it still so I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. This information is still very um, new and raw. And this has been something, this has been the first platform or even really the first big conversation I've had about this. So I might get a little emotional. So oh, we're, we're here for you. We're here for you. We, we will be your big sisters. Yeah, it's just a lot. It has been a six month period post show to unpack. And I don't even know if mentally I'm fully like kind of settled with it, but I'm going to do the best I can today. Um, so recently Avon and I decided to part ways. Um, so we'll start by saying the door is closed. Um, there's a lock key gone forever. Um, and that's something I'm still coping with. That's a big reason why I'm here with my family, just because like I said, it's, been a year of him and I, um, but the six months post me finding out um, of his infidelity um, has just been so hard. And although everyone, um, especially on the internet, has told me, Kylie, like, you deserve better. It's time to walk away. Um, That's still a lot easier said than done, Um, especially when you love someone so much. Um, like I did Avon. And so I think right now I'm just in my healing era and trying to find the ability just to kind of have my own life in San Diego, which is Kylie, her being single and um, just kind of settling with myself and and being by myself. Mm -hmm. I want to say when I listened to you talking on Serena and Joe's podcast, a couple of things I just want to say, and I said this before I said it to Susan um, because she listened to most of it, but missed this part. You Mm -hmm. said that, um, you know, the drawer, if he could do the work, you said all these things. And I said to Susan, she doesn't know it yet, but the door is closed. Did I not Susan? You said, you said, and you you could you just didn't know it yet um but we are happy for you that you are a mature beautiful lady and the fact that you've made a decision that works for you is mm-hmm. i mean what else can you say you, yeah it, it's going to take time to heal yeah i wish like that i think what i've been saying to everyone i wish i could close my eyes and blink to a couple of months ago uh, a month couple of months from now, excuse me, because I just want to, I want to be healed already. I'm tired of being sad. Um, but I know that just takes time. This is my first ever heartbreak. Um, I've never oh. been in love before or honestly had a real relationship. How um, old are you again, Kylie? 26? 26, 26, 26. Kylie, would you mind sharing what happened? Yeah. So um, at the end of the day, he has caused a lot of hurt in my life. Um, I will say even since like the beginning when we were in paradise together and I so was like longing for him just to make that commitment to me and he couldn't. And just after that, it's been a ripple effect, but I don't have any hate in my heart towards him. I know he's a good person and I know he wants to be a good person and he'll be that person for someone else just not me uh and i like i wish him nothing but the best that's do you a good truly, attitude it's a do you truly believe i know today do you, is it truly the door is shut like there's no there's yeah, no i just i just think i mean never say never but at this point there has just almost like what you said there has been so much damage that's yeah. done and we both in different Um, portions of the relationship have like given it our all Mm -hmm. and unfortunately it wasn't reciprocated back um so i just i don't see a world where that happens but like i said everything happens for a reason so if later down the road we find our ways back together then great but if it was meant to be if it was meant to be some people say it'll be but right now you do you you heal and you do you yeah, I am right. Like I'm a fish. I'm so excited because I feel like my San Diego experience so far has been consumed with like our relationship, yeah. but I want to genuinely enjoy San Diego and build a life for myself out there and my own life. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited 
decided to kind of hit the ground running with that. So I want to know, did your family like him? My family was obsessed with him prior to everything happening. And then even after the fact, my mom especially was, obviously she was kind of hurt because she saw how hurt I was. Um, But she was still his biggest cheerleader because she knew at the end of the day how happy he made me and how much I loved him. Uh So although she didn't necessarily agree with all of the, the things that he had done, she was willing to kind of move past that if I was willing to move past it. And how is she right this moment? Can um, she? she is very sad for me. I feel so bad for her because I'm like, mom, I've taken like 10 years off of your life from all the things I put you through. Cause she felt like when I'm sad, she feels it so deeply. Well, and we so, do as parents. I yeah. know. <laughs> and me being so far away from her, she's just like, I, I can't be there. Um, so she's like, if you want to come home right this second, we'll figure out a way. Like if you, it's unbearable for you to live there, you can come back home. But I don't want, I, I, I want to do this for myself. 